Today on Brides of Beverly Hills. Baby now, I'm incognito. Limo Bob had these chains and chains and chains. My bodyguard. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you. Where's the bride? So, Tank, I, I think you had an opinion. A little more blue. Yeah, Why don't you sit down? Can he sit down? No, he doesn't like to sit. I think it's amazing that I look this good without Spanx. I want it as tight as possible. She wants half the dress size. Ideal. <laughs> <laughs> Finding a wedding gown is like finding a husband. When you fall in love, it's time to stop looking. I've been in the bridal business for over 30 years. With a great team and an eye for the perfect dress, I make dreams come true for the brides of Beverly Hills. I have a delivery for Renee Strauss. As I was getting ready for my appointments this morning, a package arrives. And attached is a note, this is for you. I'll see you later, Donna Spangler. How to get a rich man. I already did. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, my first appointment told me they were coming up in a limo, so I went outside to greet them. Let me call my princess. Hey, baby. My name is Christy, and I am engaged to the most wonderful, amazing man that I've ever met, Limo Bob. Yeah, we're going to have some fun doing it. you got to get that beautiful bridal gown. I'm Limo Bob. I'm a two-time Guinness Book world record holder of the longest limousine in the world and the Boeing 727 jet that we turned into a limo. Yeah, well, you know I'm going to need bling to even stand up close to you. I met my fiancée, Christy, two years ago. I thought, okay, is this guy for real? <laughs> Seriously? Hey, Tank, have you ever been wedding dress shopping? You know, Tank is my bodyguard, and he's also one of my best friends. Tank goes everywhere with us, with Bob wearing 33 pounds of gold on him. He's our insurance policy. Just then, a big limo pulled up. Baby now, I'm incognito. So out comes this big burly guy with gold chains. He introduces himself as Limo Bob, but there's no bride. How are you doing? Hello. This is Tate, Am I my bodyguard, yes. Who brings a bodyguard to a bridal salon? So then the next limo pulls up, and there's the bride. Hi, oh, Renee. Oh, I would have expected no one less oh, beautiful. Thank I you. Love it. Nice <laughs> to see you. Thank you. Thank you. For Thank you. Tank thought he was scary looking, but he didn't scare me. Hello. Sheree was the perfect stylist for this group. I feel underdressed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see why they call you Tank, Tank. <laughs> Don't leave home without him. <laughs> I bet you inside, he is a big old soft teddy bear. Tell me what you're looking for. I don't even really know a style or anything yet, but oh, I figured this so you're right. open. We yes, build so rent and sell limos, but the thing is, we can't build her a dress. No. <laughs> what is your budget for today? Her wish is my command, whatever she wants. The monetary part of it is not not what's important. What's important is the way that, that you feel inside and the way that it makes you feel. We're gonna get All you right. in a dressing room, we'll get you in something blingy, and then we'll see what you think. Thank and maybe you. Tank will have some input too. Yes, he will. I'm Please. afraid to look at yeah. Tank, so I'm just gonna look right here. All right, let's go, go. <laughs> So Christy has to compete with Limo Bob, of course, so she wants lots of bling on her dress. Meanwhile, I offered Limo Bob and Tank some champagne. Would you like a glass of drink? I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do anything. I gotta hear the story of all of this. This is 39 years in the limousine business, and the stars, celebs, sports figures took the liking to me and my crazy limos. From Mike Tyson's to Michael Jordan's to all the hottest rock bands and rap bands, and they started giving me a little piece of gold. Then they tried to outdo each other. Absolutely. Why did you sit down? Can he sit down? No, he doesn't like to sit. He always likes to look around and see what's going on. You don't have to be afraid of me. This is Tank. Mm. All right, Tank, take care of uh, Limo Bob. I'll be back when my glass empties, but I'm going to check on the girls. And you're such a sweetheart. Thank you so much for the hospitality. Thank you. What do you think, buddy? Uh, we'll see. Is this the place? Looks like it. Here is dress oh, wow. and bling oh, option number one. Look at my princess. Yes, look at her as you check your phone. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at my princess. That's for her. She's getting in 
So the first dress for Christy is private label, priced at $4,200. Lots of bling on the top, long silk satin train on the bottom. Oh my gosh. Am I blinging stunning. enough for you Baby. now? When she walked out with the first dress, all I can remember seeing was a glow. She was like an angel out of heaven. I loved the way that it was tailor fitted. I felt absolutely spectacular. So Tank, I think you had an opinion. What was that? A little more bling. You know, maybe some gold chains, like, you know, just like. Actually, I used to be in the mute colors. I didn't like to stand out at all. But ever since meeting Bob, it, it's fun just to dress up and, and step out. You got a bling when you got bling, right? I want a bigger reaction, so oh, try I love another it. one. OK, we get to go try round two. One. Yeah, and you'll have a little comparison already. Beautiful. Yeah. OK, my dear. OK. Meanwhile, in walks my next appointment, Belle, with an attractive blondini. I'm Belle Sensel, and my husband's name is Brad Sensel. I was an actress, and I was on Baywatch as a lifeguard. And I was also Pamela Anderson's evil nemesis twin lookalike on VIP. My husband was a rock star in a heavy metal band called TKO, but now he is a producer. Last year, Brad and I got married at a beautiful historic museum home in Yakima Valley. A lot of my friends couldn't make it, so we are going to be doing it again. Hello, ladies. I thought Kelsey would be perfect to work with Belle and her blondini friend because Kelsey wants to transition from bridesmaids to bridal. Belle. This is my best friend, Donna. Donna. Hi. Kelsey. Nice to meet you, Kelsey. Hi. Belle is a very good friend, and mm -hmm. I'm going to be holding her wedding at my house. What style are you looking for since it's your second wedding? Well, she has um, a really beautiful estate that was built um, in the 1960s oh. in Beverly Hills. Yeah. I would like something that's very regal mm -hmm. and of that kind of Hollywood time period. So vintage Hollywood and a little bit of glam. Exactly. Do we have a glam budget? The budget for my dress is actually limitless. I'd like to keep it around $5,000. We'll find you something. All right, you can follow me this way. Actually, you can stay right oh, here. OK. And we're going to put on a show for you. Oh, we'll yeah. OK. Way. Coming up, you look like Jessica Rabbit in that. Tank, from the last dress to this dress, do you like this one? I was like the last? fit of the first one. This being Belle's second wedding, I envisioned something a little more sleek, nothing big and nothing too blingy. Meanwhile, I figured I would take the opportunity and find out who's this blondini. Hi, Renee, how are you? I'm Donna Spangler. OK, she's Donna Spangler, the woman that sent me the book this morning. I'm the author of How to Get a Rich Man, The Princess Formula. It is how to get a, a man who's rich in spirit and heart with the financial aspects completing the picture. So did you marry Rich? I've been with the same guy for 15 years. She never said she married him. So is he a rich man? Yes. My husband, Michael, is rich on the inside, too. Yeah, you got the inside and the outside package. Thank you. I am a fitness enthusiast and beauty expert, and so I know a lot about that. My goal is to empower women. I really think that all women should look beautiful, and they have the opportunity with everything that we have available today. But there's a lot of food available. You don't look like you eat anything. No, I eat. I eat. I eat a lot. Everybody of skinny says they eat, they eat, I they eat. eat. But I do exercise a lot, too. Little does she know I work out every day. You have to really work hard in order to look your very best. It doesn't help. I'll go check on that. OK, great. I Yay! can't wait. OK. Meanwhile. OK. This, this is fabulous. Who makes, makes this? this? in here for me. This is um, actually by the Couture Division of Issa Makina. Wow. Yes. Who is this amazing? A lot of beautiful dresses wow. here. I think he's going to love it. I do, too. Think I it's going to be bling enough? It definitely makes its own statement, doesn't it? Is wow. enough for him. The second one was a little bit of a challenge to wear. It was a little heavy, but it was also just an amazing dress. I'm going to need some help with this dress. Oh, I know. A tank. Tanky. Yeah. Tank. I'm thinking Kelsey and Clara. You're hey, like, sweetie, I need help. Oh, uh, we both part. <laughs> Don't squeeze I it too hard, Tank. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, my I gosh. Know, right? okay. Holy shit. Now, smokes. what do you think of this? That is a human Barbie is doll. Is this something or what? Huh? I'm what do you think of this one? You, the second dress was like a Cinderella story. And it looked like, I mean, old world elegance with the 
petticoat, you know, the dress, how it flares out. The feathers with the bling really caught my eye. Renee! Look at the oh, bling. I love it. The absolute <laughs> Cinderella. Cinderella dress. That's why the goal here is to bling you out as much right. as possible. As much as because as possible. you have serious yeah. competition. Oh, yes, definitely. What else can we do to, to blingify the situation? I have a good idea. I'm sure you do. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right. All right. More bling? Oy. It still wasn't enough. Meanwhile, got the first oh, one. Oh, you look beautiful. So this is an Amy Michelson, and it's 6400 so it's just, just a bit over budget. Do we love it? Just counting pennies. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I love the cut. It's just the fit on me, it would be uncomfortable to wear. I want to see the back. It's got kind of like a 1940s feel, huh? Yeah, it actually, everything hits her perfectly on her body. Even this, this bust line's great for her. Mm. And then with the lace, definitely has that. You look like there. Jessica Rabbit in that. Mm. It made her figure like va 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 voom. Even the way she had her hair like off mm. down to one side just reminded me of Jessica Rabbit. You look beautiful. This. this is so gorgeous. I'm not bad. I was just drawn this way. <laughs> and then she did that look in the mirror. It is a very <laughs> Jessica Rabbit feel. Yes. And I love it. But um, can we try some more stuff on? We Shh. can. Meanwhile, wow. Oh. Renee kind of came along and added this extra veil to give it a little bit more bling. Oh, I like the that. bling in like. a veil. So, now it's what do you say? Blinged out. Did we do yes. it? Yes. Oh, now, <laughs> now, Tank, he knows the bling effect. Tank from the last dress to this dress. Do you like this one I or like the, the last? fit of the first one. Coming up. Did a good job blinging it, but it's too plain. I think the dress looks fantastic on you. It's not awful. I feel like it fits you like a glove. It's a little big. Well, it's very understated. It's pretty. It isn't as stunning as the Jessica Rabbit dress, but it's not awful. This dress is a Justina McCathery, and it is $4,000, so it is below your budget. I, I'm not sure what it is about this one that I don't feel as strong about. Do you want to try a belt? Might as well. So let me grab a belt for you. See if she'll like it better. It was definitely a nicely well-made dress, but I think the style wasn't the most flattering for her. I think the dress looks fantastic on you. This belt is 840, so it'll bring you right to your, your $5,000 budget. It's pretty, but I think it's a little too thin. It gets too foo-foo. Mm. I, I don't know. It's too just floral. With, you want with something all the that lace. Looks, makes my body just look knock out without having to really work that hard. I love the lace dress, but unfortunately, it would completely compete with Donna's garden, and it would just be one crazy So next dress. Yeah, let's, next just, dress. let's move on. And then, all right, Bobby. Oh, here we okay. go. So. <laughs> It's beautiful, too, with all the bling. The dress is by Steven Yurick, and it's priced at $3,300. However, the dress is, is pretty plain down the front, yeah. but I know that you're the king of bling. So it. we took the veil, placed it around the front, and so now that gives you a more bling. bling. Yeah. This actually is we added a belt. A belt. Mm -hmm. You did a good job blinging it, but it's, it's a little too plain. It just wasn't heavenly. Like if she just walked out of heaven, like she did with dress number one. The first the one, first I think, one. is taking a cake. Yeah, Second I think I like the Second was gorgeous, too. too, but it was too much for us to fast dance. <laughs> She's Ooh. back! Yeah. Hi, Hi. Renee! I love it. All right, Renee, it. so what do you think of this one, my dear? I'll tell you, I like the silhouette. I think the silhouette is beautiful. However, I wouldn't imagine this for anything but the reception. And what I could oh. do, I could either keep it 
straight and short, or we could flare it a little bit. Let me explain that. I would keep the dress actually fitted, but at the seam points, I would put in a godet oh, yeah. that would just be flirty and would open oh, I like yeah, that. Yeah. I like the godet. Oh, I love yeah. that. And let her dance at the reception. That way I could sell two dresses. I think we should put the first dress on again because I really think that that's the one that wins your heart. Dress we gotta look at that again. That, yeah. yeah, let's read like What do you think, Jane? I think number one. Mm -hmm. He likes the first. One. And who argues with a tank? Oh, All right, do that. Good. All right, thank you. So, so while Christy, Limo Bob, and Tank are having fun in the bridal boudoir, I have Allison who's returned for her first fitting. My name is Allison Fleming, and I am getting married in a few months to my fiance, Charles Burchett. I bought my dress at Renee's about three months ago, and today is my first day back to try it on. So I called in Avo, my favorite tailor, who has true European craftsmanship. So basically, because we had to order it to fit your bust line, mm -hmm. which is in proportion to the rest of your body, but the rest of the dress is too loose everywhere mm -hmm. else. Since I'm getting married so soon, Avo better be making it perfect. Coming up. It fits you like a glove. Oh, it's a little big. I want it as tight as possible. So is this the one? Oh. I think it's amazing that I look this good without Spanx. Dress number uh, we are back to dress number one. So we ended up going back to dress number one, which was Tank's favorite, Limo Bob's favorite, Christy's favorite, which equals my favorite. Beautiful. So we added this veil, and then this is the one that I really like, the accessory that I like you the like best, it? I think. Yep. And the veil is by Blossom Veils for 1,800. Let's veil. not forget. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And then right. <gasps> <laughs> this is Look at I like it there. I mean, I love the top. I what know. do you think? I like this the one, neck. definitely. I think yeah, it would like be stunning. One. I like the even the satin. It's silk satin? Oh, okay, How did you know that? Nice. It was totally the princess, the fairy tale dress. And look at Renee. You're I all know, playing I was with the your eyes. How do you know There's Renee with a diamond tear. <laughs> so, is this the one? They're this all beautiful, but this is beyond the beauty of the other two. So, Tank, like is this, this the one? one? This is the one, but the, the, one. the other veil. Tank liked the other veil, the blingy veil. Yes. Where did I put that veil? Mm. Yeah, I know where lovely, it is. lovely. In this case, more is more. Christy looked like an angel. Even though she was wearing that beautiful halo again, there was a there was a halo glow around her, and it was totally the princess. There you yeah. go. Listen, I'm going to promise you something. Even if Limo Bob came to the wedding with all of his bling, no one's going to even look at you. <laughs> this is the star of the day, the guest of honor. Bobby always gets all the attention. This girl's going to be blinging just as much as him, if not more. Thank so I think you. we did it. I love it. it. And I, I think this calls it. for a I bit do. of a celebration. You I think you're right. Yeah. Meanwhile, in the great room, my bride Allison's come in to perfect the fit. Oh my god, it fits you like a glove. Oh, it's a little big. But oh, it's my beautiful. Gosh, it's just gotta cinch me up so I can't move or breathe or. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Allison, you look beautiful. Thank you. The dress is a little bit big right now, so I'm hoping that Avo can make it tight and snug by my wedding day. I like it as tight as possible. Yeah. Avo, what do you think? How long will you need to do the alteration? This is, I think, one week I can finish in this dress. One week? Oh, wow. And you know the saying, something old, something new. Right. And a sixpence for your shoe. Here's an English sixpence from the land of kings and queens. When I read the poem to the family, a lucky coin tucked in her shoe. Her mom teared up. It was very uh, sentimental. This coin becomes a keepsake of the day that you were wed. Oh, well, thank you so much, Renee. You are welcome. I almost wanted to cry. That's going to be such a nice touch, and I'll definitely have it in my expensive shoes on my wedding day. OK, so we're all good? Beautiful. We did it. Hooray! Yay! Meanwhile, so we have an Amy Michelson, and it's 5,300. Let's see the back. Oh, the back. Are these crystals? Yep, they are Swarovski crystals that go all the way down to the end of the train. Jeez. And this is a silk charmeuse, and it's the best fabric you can get. What do you think, Belle? 
I think it's amazing that I look this good without Spanx. I felt like it was a custom dress made for me, like it was butter and I could sleep in it, I could swim in it. It's so easy to walk in, it's so comfortable. Normally, I do not like myself in a charmeuse. It reminded me of old Hollywood, kind of glamour, sophistication. Can't beat this fabric, girls. And this, I think, is the look we're going for. Might be. It was my first choice. The third dress that Belle tried on, I thought she should buy. It was eight ply silk charmeuse, and that was the dress. I want to start a trend and have a wedding every, every, every single year. That's good for business. Get married <laughs> to the same guy. Like that one. Get a new dress. You'll love them all over again. You'll want to have sex with them all over again, all the time. <laughs> Once like a year. Said, and it makes us want to stay thin and look good and remembering the vows, that's what it's all about. I vow to stay thin the rest Why of my life. <laughs> Nobody says that. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be thin. It's just a matter of your personal best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you love you the dress? You look sexy. That's no. what I want to know. <laughs> yes, I love the dress. Good, perfect, love you the love the dress. dress. Love comes first, it comes before money. I'm very happy. Well, what do you say to your gorgeous bride-to-be? I'm the happiest and most blessed man on planet Earth just because I have my angel forever. This is now dress. that's a toast. <laughs> yes, toast to you. Wonderful... At the end, with everything put together, it was perfect. Yes. Uh -huh. Thanks, Tate. Oh, I love that. Renee, Kelsey. What are you reading? It may be true that there's no romance without finance. Even I... if the guy says a lot of sweet things to you, do not jump into bed with him. Kelsey, if they have a large bank account, they think they have a large we need. If they have a big one, they are especially cocky. Oi, babe! I want to, you need to show it me. off. You need to reach oh my me. God.